Okay, let us start today's Caribbean Corner webinar. A big thank you to Irene, Jade and Sangeeta for joining us today. I'm going to let them all introduce themselves. Um, Sangeeta, you're on the screen at the moment. Tell us who you are, where you're from and what your prize is today. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. I'm Sangeeta Makwana. I am uh, your point of contact here in UK uh, and Europe for uh, NASA Paradise Island Promotion Board. Um, it's a very exciting destination. I've got all the lovely things to share with you, uh, top selling tips uh, for how to sell our properties. Um, and uh, as an incentive, as a thank you for joining us today, one lucky winner is going to get um, 50 pounds or equivalent of uh, 50 US dollars or euros today. Super, thank you very much, Sangeeta. We're looking forward to it. Um, we have also got Irene. Irene, hello, welcome. Hi, hi, Sarah. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Irene Orozco. I'm uh, the Sales Executive at the Cayman Islands Farm Tourism UK and Europe office. So I'm your point of contact if you're based in this region. And uh, yes, I'm here to show you a little bit uh, more about this beautiful destination. And the prize uh, for the lucky winner will be a very, very uh, interesting Cayman Island hamper, which includes many uh, interesting things, uh, but one of the most interesting probably is a bottle of uh, seven fathom rum uh, with a value of over around 50 pounds already, just the rum. So. You've got lots of love hearts flying around. <laughs> you mentioned rum. It's perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much, Irene. We're looking forward to your presentation. And we also have Jade. Jade, welcome. Hello. Thanks, Sarah. Hi, everyone. My name is Jade, and I'm the Business Development Manager in the UK for Temptation Hotels and Resorts. Um, we do have BDMs in Germany, France, and the US and Canada, too. So just to mention that for those that are joining in from elsewhere, uh, we will have a prize today as well of £50 or Euros or $60, depending on where you are in the world. Super, thank you. And Jade, you're going to kickstart us with your new properties and also your existing properties in Mexico. So we've got Mexico and Dominican today. So over to you. Okay, thank you. I'll just share my screen. Has that come up right? Is it on the PowerPoint, Sarah? I'm putting my thumb up as a yes. Oh, you are. Sorry, I couldn't see anything. It's all good, yes? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. So, hi, everybody. Welcome to the presentation today. I'm going to be talking about Temptation Cancun in Mexico, um, which I'm sure most of you have heard of. And we have a brand new property, Temptation Meaches, in the Dominican Republic that opens on the 1st of October. Some of you may be aware that Temptation um, Grand Meaches is also a new property and I've deliberately left that out of the presentation today um, because that property has more of a desire concept and it's uh, aimed at couples only so that will be why I'm not covering that today just in case anybody is wondering. So to kick off the presentation I always like to mention our rewards program for Temptation. So for each booking um, that you log you earn one point and you can actually reward yourselves with £10 in cash um, obviously different for those in different parts of the world and you can actually convert convert your points into free nights and I think one of the best ways to understand the concept of temptation is to go and stay and experience it yourself and um, to really understand what it's all about. I think some people misunderstand it a little bit it is fun it is flirty people like to have a good time um, but it's it's not anything like your desire concept or hedonism or anything that you would typically actually expect I think the main things and um, points to get across is that if you've got stag groups or hen groups or those those groups that you're sending sending to Vegas for pool parties at the encore and things like that in the summer they're the kind of people that are really going to love love this resort so starting with Temptation Cancun, um, you can just see it here. It's such a fun and colourful resort. Actually, everywhere you go, there's something really fun um, to look at and, and going on. Um, included in Temptation, so you have to be 21 plus actually to stay. So although it's adults only, you do have to be 21 plus. Cancun has 430 rooms. There's always activities going on in the daytime and the evening. Um, there's two swimming pools. One's a bit louder and actually for those that maybe wanted a bit of a quieter pool, there is a quiet pool at both of the resorts as well. 
Um, we offer round the clock dining service, room service, 24 hour domestic and international um, beverages. There's a fitness centre and free Wi-Fi. So everything you would typically expect at an all inclusive property. So just looking at the top left, the trendy garden view room is our leading category at this resort. And as you can see in the rooms, and as I mentioned, everywhere throughout the property, there's just these fun colours and fun vibes everywhere. Um, the bottom right is our trendy ocean view room, which is our second room category up. And the plus jacuzzi room. So this is our lead in jacuzzi room. So this is only the third category up and you can just see on the terrace there, the jacuzzi area and the patio. So we have kind of two sections to, to Cancun and I'm just going to really quickly flip back to the beginning um, just to show you how the resort's laid out. So if you can see on the left here, we've got this block and to the right, we've got these blocks. So these are your standard rooms in the property. This big tower is, is what I'm referring to as the tower by temptation, otherwise known as the bash tower. And it's an upgraded service for guests. So anybody that is staying in the tower um, will have um, better amenities and a slightly heightened service compared to those standard rooms in the blocks either side. So guests will get VIP check-in and check-out exclusive complimentary room service menu, Sky 3.5 daily access, which I'll show you in a moment, and invite to cocktail party once a week, exclusive VIP Sunday area and pool and beach butler service. So it's definitely worth upgrading your clients um, to the tower. And here is the leading room in the tower, um, just to show you. Actually, the way, the way it curves round, I mean, you've got the ocean views, but actually every single room category in this tower has some kind of view due to the way it's positioned, which is really great. The master suite, which is one of the highest room categories. I actually stayed in this when I was here a few years ago. It's such a great place. If you're making friends, you know, at the bar and you're kind of hanging out with people, you can actually come back here. And this this veranda area actually sweeps the whole way around the side of this room. Um, and there's actually, you can't see it through this photo, but there's actually a bar just behind this pink panel um, out on the terrace. And you can actually have a bartender come up and serve drinks to you and your friends if you wanted to have a little bit of a party on your balcony. That's something that can be a range which was quite unique and quite fun. The sexy pool, so this is where most of the daytime activities happen, so this is the loud pool where the parties and the games are going on um, and just the, the beach, it's a really nice beach area location um, particularly where this property is located. Non-motorised non water sports are also offered as part of the all-inclusive. So just to show you some of the daytime activities, kind of beer pong, phone parties, kind of dancing challenges, things like that. That's what typically happens um, during the daytime around the sexy pool. And just another shot of the beach. I think it's such a lovely beach. And the quiet pool. So as I mentioned, if you've got people that maybe have a sore head after the night before or just really don't want to have a day where it's where there's music and activity, there is a quiet pool with, with a bar as well where people can hang out. Um, themed nights. So every single day of the week, there is a themed party night that happens at the resort. So I've just put them in here for you to see. So from safari nights to lingerie nights, phone party nights and graffiti. Um, I will send this in my follow up because they do change every day of the week. Um, and it's quite nice if you've got clients going just to let them know what the themes are going to be. If they want to take something to dress up in, they can already kind of pre-plan that in before they get there. So round the clock dining, as I mentioned, so the property has seven restaurants, so everything from Italian to seafood to buffet, um, international and local cuisine. There are six bars located through the property. I'm just showing you some of the photos here. Romanza, which is the Italian and some of the bars. So there's quite a lot of areas to hang out. So this, this bar here is um, probably where a lot of the um, evening entertainment goes on. So this is where your DJs are going to be and your parties. Um, and actually behind this area is like a big stage. Um, so that's where all the dancing happens. But you've also got sports bars um, and other places that you can hang around inside as well. So the Sky 3.5 rooftop terrace. So this is what I was talking about earlier for those clients staying in the tower. So you can only access this area if you are um, a tower guest. So anybody staying in the, the standard rooms in the blocks would not have access to this area. So that's quite um, a unique selling point for those rooms. You can see the views here just on the bottom right. It's, it's such a nice spot to hang out and have some cocktails with your friends. And I'm just going to play a short video to kind of put all of that concept into real life for you.
play. Okay, so moving on to Temptation Meaches. So 16 days to go today. We're due to open on the 1st of October. Um, that date is, well, well ahead of track for that. So just to give anybody a bit of confidence, if anybody's got inquiries already, it is due to open without any um, foreseen delays. So we have just the um, artist impression still at the moment, but you'll see here just a few images that we've got to showcase the result. And some of you are probably wondering where Meaches is, because that's not a typical um, location that most of us will be familiar with in Punta Cana, um, sorry, in Dominican Republic. So it's just north of Punta Cana, and it's about an hour and 20 minutes from Punta Cana International Airport. So you'll see the airport just down here, and it's it's right up here in Meaches. So again, what's included, the concept is pretty much the same across all of the Temptation resorts. So 21 plus, there's 384 rooms and suites at this property, two pools, beach, six restaurants, room services included, 24 hour domestic and international beverages, a state of the art fitness center and free Wi-Fi. So it's pretty much the same as Cancun. Um, and here are our is our leading room. So we've got 384 rooms here and this is our trendy tropical pool view room. So again, you can see it's kind of, it's very similar to the ones in Cancun. Um, and this little map just kind of shows you how the room's laid out and the space that you've got. We have six restaurants. Again, the same restaurants really as the ones in Cancun. So Rain is our multicultural cuisine. Flame is seafood pizzas and kind of buffet style restaurant. Romanza is our Italian. Amore is Mexican and Dominican cuisine. Sutra is Asian fusion with the typical teppanyaki tables and live kind of, you know, food shows. And she is our couple's only dining experience. So that's just one of our restaurants where it is the couple's only to dine. And we also have seven bars at Meaches. So same concept with the pools. On the left, we've got the sexy pool. So this is where all of the entertainment is going to be happening during the day. Um, it usually starts from around midday and it's, there's always stuff going on. If people don't want that, they've got the quiet pool, which you can see pictured here. So theme nights, again, they're slightly different to the ones in Mexico. So Monday through to Sunday, there's different themes going on. Um, jungle nights, lace masks and heels, glitter and Dominican. So very different. And again, I'll, I'll include this in my follow up so that you can let any clients know um, what to expect in terms of the parties. Um, where you can book our resort. So for Meaches, a few of the operators are still working their way through contracting because obviously it's just due to open. But for Temptation, you can see um, a lot of operators uh, have the contracts and do sell it. So you can book through those. And the four operators here for Meaches are where you can book Meaches currently. Um, and obviously that will change in the next coming weeks. Um, and that's me. So I'm here to help you. Um, I always get weird and wonderful questions with this result, and that's absolutely okay. I think the concept is a bit of a tough one, but I think hopefully today I've kind of put a bit of a better um, realistic impression on it in terms of who's best suited and, and kind of what happens. Um, if you need any help at any time, you can contact me there on jade at amgltd.biz. Um, and I do have a, a business development manager Facebook page where I share absolutely everything from the new hotel openings, fam trip competition. So it's worth just um, giving me a follow on there to not miss anything. Um, and that that is all from me. Thank you very much. Super, thank you very much, Jade. Um, so now we're going to leave um, Mexico and the Dominican Republic and we're moving across to the Cayman Islands. Um, Irene, the stage is yours. Over to you. Thank you. Um, one second. Hopefully you can see my screen now. Yes. So I'm going to start with a um, short video to give you a taste of uh, the Cayman Islands.
So um, let's start with the location of this beautiful destination. Uh, the Cayman Islands are located in the western side of the Caribbean, uh, more precisely south of Cuba and west of Jamaica. And also they're uh, just around an hour uh, flight away from Miami. Um, as you can see, we have three islands, Ram Cayman, Little Cayman, Cayman, Cayman Brack, which are not very big in size, but they still have so many things to, to, to offer, to do and see. And um, for example, in these tiny islands in the Caribbean, we still have over 135 nationalities. It's a very multicultural place. Um, we also have 365 different dive sites, literally a different dive site for every day of the year. Uh, it's a very, very important dive destination. And also we have over 200 restaurants from the fine dining experiences to the chat on the beach, serving typical Caymanian and Caribbean food. And how to get there? Well, it depends where you're located, obviously, but from from Europe in general, we have two main options. The first one would be via Miami. Uh, we have uh, same day connections from the main uh, European airports. And the other option would be from the UK. We do have direct flights from London Heathrow four times a week at the moment. Um, we got to five before the pandemic, but obviously we're, we're, <laughs> we're coming back to, to, to that now. Um, so you fly from London here with British Airways. Uh, it's a direct because you only take one flight. However, we do share uh, the route with Bahamas. So there's a short touchdown in Bahamas for around 45 minutes. Some people get off the plane, some people don't. And then from Nassau, from Bahamas, it takes uh, an hour to go to Grand Cayman. Additionally, it's possible to create a twin center with all the destinations in North America and the Caribbean because we also have direct flights. So you could do, for example, quite typical uh, Miami Cayman Islands, or you could combine it with New York, or why not Cuba uh, or Jamaica in the Caribbean. And these are our three islands, uh, as I was saying, Grand Cayman, Cayman Brack, and Little Cayman. Grand Cayman is the largest of the three islands and the main two point for travelers. Here uh, we have the international airport and also here we have Georgetown, which is the capital of the Cayman Islands. As you can see on the map, there are two distinct regions in this island. On the west, you can see that it looks slightly busier. It's not a very busy island, but still you can see a concentration on the western side. Uh, this is because here we have the Seven Mile Beach, which is considered one of the most beautiful beaches in the Caribbean. And also we have uh, the capital Georgetown. Uh, so in this area, as you can imagine, you have uh, quite a few uh, accommodation options, as well as uh, restaurants and bars and museums and, and things like that. And then on the other side of the island, when you're driving uh, east, you'll find, let's say, the more local part of, of Grand Cayman with plenty of cultural and natural sites, beautiful uh, small villages with colorful houses, flowers everywhere, smaller coves, and, and things like that. Uh, as reference, from one side of the island to the other side, it takes around one hour drive, and the driving is very easy. Uh, we have two main roads, so you can't get lost. And the infrastructure is really good, so no problem at all. Um, also, we have duty-free shopping, especially around Georgetown. You have uh, quite a few, not only, but quite a few luxury shops, let's say Cartier and things like that, where you can get good deals because there's no taxes. Uh, here's, here are some images of uh, Grand Cayman. We've taken during one of our farms. So you can see the real thing with no tricks. <laughs> and then we have the two smaller islands, Cayman Brack and Little Cayman. We call them the sister islands. Cayman Brack, uh, it's more like the nature's lover's island, uh, perfect for diving, snorkeling, bird watching, hiking, climbing, exploring caves and things like that. It's not very big, around 12 miles long and a total population of around 3,000. Um, so quite chill, 
Uh, but we have another island that is even smaller, Little Cayman, uh, with only 10 miles long and a population of 160 permanent residents. is very, very calm, very quiet. Um, don't expect uh, a lot of party here, but actually it's part of the charm. It's almost unspoiled. Um, just a couple of uh, options in terms of accommodation. But when you get there, you feel almost that you're back in time. And this is how the Caribbean used to look like. Um, also, the three islands are amazing for diving, but Little Cayman has one of the best spots around the world for, for divers, uh, Blue Bay Bowl. Um, so how to get to these two islands? You have to, well, when you're in Grand Cayman, you have to take, you have to fly there. Okay, but it's very easy. We have several flights connecting the three islands every day. It's almost like taking a bus. And from the main island, from Cayman to each of them, Little Cayman or Cayman Brack, takes around 35 minutes. So it's not too long. And some images again, so you see how, how the sister islands look like. Just uh, so you know, uh, on, on, the, uh, on the corner, you can see a group photo actually we were on Little Cayman and literally there was nobody else on that beach. We were alone. So that's very nice. And very quickly, a few details or a few highlights about the Cayman Islands. Um, the first one is that we are a British overseas territory. Um, so there's a big connection with the United Kingdom, uh, both culturally, politically. Uh, obviously, this is the official language. Um, Obviously, there's no need for visas for British citizens, and also the driving is on the left-hand side, so very easy. And also uh, important is that we are a luxury Caribbean destination. I mean, obviously, we have we do have options for other budgets. We do have mid-range options in terms of accommodation and so on. But it's true that it, most most of our say our typical profile of visitor is someone with a higher income. Uh, that is seeking or expecting uh, high quality accommodation that we can offer. And of course, beautiful, beautiful beaches that we can also offer. But we can also offer plenty of experiences and attractions for the people that, you know, maybe are hoping to do more than reading a book and some bathing, let's say, which is already very nice. They, they won't get bored in the Cayman Islands. Cayman Islands. So let me go through some pictures. Here we have some of our beaches from, again, Seven Mile Beach to um, Point of Sun in, in Little Cayman, which is the beach where we, we had the group photo and we were alone uh, on the top uh, right. Um, beautiful blue waters, as you can see. Uh, some of our hotels, villas and condos. Um, we have uh, big brands like, like Kimpton and Ritz Cotton, but also independent brands, uh, boutique hotels, and very nice uh, condos and villas for bigger groups. And some of the things that you can do, uh, I think I said it before, from exploring caves, uh, horseback riding, uh, we have helicopter tours, uh, all the water sports you can imagine from paddle, paddle boarding to um, parasailing and everything in between because some parts of the island are so so calm as you can see the water is almost flat whereas in other areas it's more wavy and it's perfect for other uh, sports that require more wind and very special we also have the um, bioluminescence uh, in the north of Grand Cayman uh, this phenomenon uh, happens when when it's dark and basically with movement, the plankton in the seawater reacts to the movement and it glows up. So it's, it's very beautiful. And also you can see the stars, there's no pollution at all. And it's, it's very magical. And also it's a great place for nature lovers. We have very unique species of fauna and flora, including this one here, which is the blue iguana, only found in a very reduced area in Grand Cayman. Nowhere else in the world you can find this kind of iguana. They're protected. Uh, at one time we had around 12 left only, unfortunately, but thanks to our recovery program, we now have around 1,000 in growing. 
And as I mentioned before, very important dive destination. Uh, the Cayman Islands are actually uh, one of the places where recreational diving was worn over 60 years ago. Pavi and all that, okay. Um, we have very pristine reefs, really well, very well preserved, uh, great visibility. Uh, the, the reefs are very accessible. Worst case scenario are 10 to 15 minutes away from the islands. And obviously because of the of the, the, the years of experience, very, we have very good operators. Um, and here, uh, here's probably our most famous attraction. And this is Tingray City, which is uh, somewhere in the middle of the Caribbean Sea, not too far from Grand Cayman, you go there by boat. You can stand in this area, okay? You don't need to float. Uh, and here you meet plenty of uh, stingrays. They are wild, but very, very friendly. They're used to people because uh, they became friends with the fishermen first. Uh, and yeah, they love people. They come, even if you don't pick them, they will swim around you. And it's a very unique experience as well. And finally, one of my favorite subjects, the culinary. Uh, it's also very important and one of the best offerings uh, of this destination. Um, we are usually uh, heralded as the culinary capital of the Caribbean because of the variety, the quality, and also the creativity of, of the restaurants. You have, again, obviously one of the Caribbean, so the Caribbean food, but also because of uh, this um, multicultural space, and you have people from all over the world, there's a lot of fusion cuisines. And we also have three Michelin star chefs with restaurant on island. We don't have Michelin stars because at the moment, unfortunately, there are no Michelin stars rating in the Caribbean at all. But hopefully in the future, we will. We will. Um, and so here's, uh, so you get an idea of, you know, some of the things you could uh, try in, in Cayman, it, it's part of the experience going out and dining and, and, and yeah, it, it's hard <laughs> after, a week, after a week there, it becomes a challenge because you want to eat and you, 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 you want to keep eating, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it has an impact. I can tell you for, from, from experience. Anyway, I, unfortunately I don't have much time but uh, here, here's my, my contact details. So you feel free to contact me anytime. If you have any query, any question, I'll be happy to help. And also while we are here, you can also uh, pop up a question and I'll be happy to, to answer. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you, Irene. You was getting a lot of love hearts there and you're still getting them. So <laughs> great to see. And um, thank you for the presentation. We have got some questions. We will we'll, we'll ask them just at the end. Just everybody, if you can make sure any questions, pop them in the Q&A tab um, with the na no, name, note, can't even speak today, the name of the speaker or the destination, just so we ask the right question to the right person. Okay, we're now leaving Grand Cayman or the Cayman Islands and we're now moving across to Nassau Paradise Island. Sangeeta, over to you. You're on mute still. Sorry, thank you. So <laughs> from Cayman Islands, off we go to Nassau Paradise Island. Thank you, Sarah. Can you, um, oh, there you are. So let's set the scene. Let's uh, uh, take you into Nassau Paradise Island through this video. Hello, neighbor. You look like you could use a break. So why don't you pop on over? Kick off your shoes and relax. Feel the sand between your toes and a sweet island breeze against your skin. Bring the kids if you like. We haven't seen each other in a while and we have a lot of catching up to do. Nassau Paradise Island, Bahamas, your island home right next door so there you are hopefully that's got you into a nice caribbean mode um just uh, so that uh, we can cover the basics um as you can see nassau is in the caribbean it's only about 183 miles from um florida 
So in terms of two centers, in terms of enticing your customers, uh, particularly out of here, UK going into uh, Florida for those summer holidays and school holidays, think about NASA as an extension to those holidays. I've put a little map at the bottom about a uh, um, uh, map of New Providence. So NASA is um, uh, in the New Providence in terms of distances, um, when you arrive in uh, Nassau, you have about 15 minutes um, approximately ride from uh, the airport to Cable Beach, which is where we've got some of our hotels. You then have about 30 minutes drive to downtown Nassau and across the bridge to Paradise Island. You've got about 45 minutes drive. Some of the top things for you to remember today. Why we are here, why we are enticing you to think about Nassau for your customers. We now have from December 10 flights a week from Heathrow to Nassau. So in terms of accessibility, it's pretty accessible. So at the moment, uh, we are served by six, fli six flights, uh, sorry, four flights per week with BA. Come October end, we will be served by six flights on British Airways direct to Nassau. Um, and then we've got at the moment two flights per week uh, with Virgin going on to four flights a week as of December. So plenty of choices. We have daily flights out of uh, out of London as of December now. So really accessible destination. So let's jump directly into our hotels. Um, Nassau Paradise Island Promotion Board is a consortium of 18 hotels. Uh, there are more than 18 hotels, of course, in Nassau, but I'm here to cover our member hotels. Um, and this is just a quick indication of where our hotels are in Nassau. And then, of course, I'll cover Paradise Island. Quick update. Um, uh, Sandals Royal Bohemian reopened uh, on um, 27th of January. It's looking absolutely beautiful. They've added more swim up suites and water features um, it was at one point one of our top selling hotels within our portfolio so if you've got any uh, couples any honeymooners of course any special celebrations um adults only travelers then do think about um, sandals it is looking absolutely beautiful going on to bahamar um luxury resort complex this is um actually uh, an all um, uh, inclusive in terms of activities resort. You've got the main hotel, which is the Two Towers, which is Grand Hyatt Bahamar. A uh, wonderful hotel for families, you know, uh, solo travelers, couples, uh, multi generational uh, travel. You've then got SLS Bahamar, which is a fun, quirky, lively hotel. And then you've got the super exclusive uh, Rosewood Bahamar. Within the uh, the Bahamar complex, we have now got the Bahamar um, Bahabe Water Park. We also have an 18 hall uh, golf course as well as lots of activities. So if you've got clients who are perhaps going over to Nassau um, as an extension of their holiday from any of the other Caribbean islands or from USA, and they just want to have um, uh, access to all these facilities, then Bahamar is a, a really good option. Again, the distances within Nassau are very short, so they can. We would always encourage that you you um, um, you know give tips or. Uh, so that your customers can go out, experience some of the local cuisines, some of the other activities. Downtown Nassau is really charming. It is the original pirate capital, so there is a lot of history. Um, and in terms of culinary uh, delights, uh, you know, um, it is, uh, you know, in comparison to London, New York, Dubai. So it is, it's got a lot of Michelin star chefs restaurants. Most of our hotels have those. But actually, it's quite nice to go and dine like locals as well, to go down to fish fry, for example. Some of the quirky activities at Bahamar um, is we do yoga with flamingos, as you can see in the picture at the top. And then the golf course, it is a, um, a Jack Nicholas Par 72 course, so it is very competitive. Um, and then in terms of casino, we have the largest in Bahamar, we've got the largest casino in the Caribbean. And as you can see, the picture at the bottom is the a picture of the casino. It is an underground. It is in full daylight. It is actually as you come into the lobby. So, um, you know, the concept is 
it's an optional thing. If you want to um, uh, stay in the casino all day, then it's your choice. But who would want to stay indoors when you've got these amazing views of the pool and the, uh, you know, um, shades of various shades of turquoise um, uh, ocean. So just to give you a quick um, insight into what the rooms look like, this is um, the Grand Hyatt. We break the 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 two towers are quite um, uh, nicely designed. So if you've got couples only, they would stay in one part of the um, uh, towers. And if you've got family, then it, they, they stay more closer to the fun and the family and the water park wing. You then have the SLS Bahamar, which is one of my favorite hotels. Um, the uh, the top bit of the hotel, the, the picture on the right hand side, right at the top, is the Sky Bar. It is one of the um, coolest hangouts in uh, in Nassau. So whether your clients are staying at the Bahamar complex or not, I'd encourage that you um, entice your clients to go and experience that. It has some of the best views of uh, the oceans. Sunset is fantastic. And of course, they serve amazing cocktails as well. So this hotel has 299 rooms, four restaurants, five, well, you know, five bars, um, and they have full access to um, the Baja Bay facilities as well as the golf and all the fun activities within the complex. Rosewood Bahamar, uh, for those of you who have um, high-end clients, um, one of the top tips is that Rosewood has got its own private entrance. So although they have access to all the facilities of Bahamar, if they didn't want to be, um, you know, um, if they didn't want to come through the main entrance, there is a private entrance to Rosewood. So it's quite nice to highlight the fact that it's quite exclusive um, and there is a private entrance. Uh, of course, you know, you've got the 232 rooms, suites and villas. You've got the two restaurants within Rosewood. Remember, there's loads more restaurants within the Bahamar complex. Um, and then, of course, you've got the, um, the pools that are exclusive to Rosewood guests and the butler services. Going on down to downtown Nassau, so here we've got Margarita World Resort. Um, a lot of people think that uh, you know you have to win the lottery to go to the Bahamas, but actually, Bahama uh, 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 Nassau has got a, a more affordable product. So now, particularly with Virgin Holiday, uh, Virgin Atlantic flying into into Nassau, we we've you know we've got a lot more com more compelling reasons to go after the family market and Margaritaville is a fantastic um, resort to be positioned in. You're walking distance to all the hustle and bustle of downtown Nassau. So you've got things like, um, you know, um, pirate museums. You've got things like the Junkanoo museums where kids can make their own uh, Junkanoo. Junkanoo is our version of carnival so they can make, um, learn to make their own mask or they can, um, you know, make their own costumes. You can easily walk around downtown Nassau, lots of restaurants, um, you know, lots of bars and lots of um, uh, activities right on the waterfront. The straw market is there as well. So plenty to do and it's, it's literally a 10 minutes walk uh, or less from Margaritaville. And then you've got um, uh, Great Cliff Hotel, which is, if you look at this map right at the bottom in the middle, it's a small hotel with a big personality. And then, of course, across the way, we've got uh, um, Paradise Island. So, Margaritaville, um, you've got 295 luxury ocean view rooms, suites and residences. You can see, uh, you know, it's very um, conveniently positioned just off the harbour and the front uh, walkway along the coast um, is what would take you into um, uh, sort of straw market and harbour front if you wanted to, or you could come out through the, uh, the main entrance, main gate of the hotel and then walk down to things like Tortuga Rum Factory or, or Rum Shop is very nearby. You've got, again, the straw market. Everything is easily accessible. You then have, um, um, I've skipped Hilton, um, uh, British Colonial Hilton, because that's at the moment under refurb, going to Greycliff. Now this, as I said, is a small hotel with a big personality. It's only 21 rooms. Um, we've had people like Winston Churchill stay here before. Why is it a big personality? The Bahama Barrels um, is um, a, a, you know, a, a winery where you can mix uh, your own um, 
um, oh, sorry, your own wine. You've got the third largest private collection of wine uh, uh, seller in um, Greycliff. It's all got a cigar factory on, on site. It's got a chocolate factory on site. So, uh, you know, if you've got people coming off a cruise line or people uh, visiting Nassau as part of an extension of a multi-center holiday, this is one of the places you want to direct them to because it's, it's, it's got a lot happening and it's right in the heart of downtown. If there's anybody selling cruises, uh, just so you know, we have a new cruise port and waterfront development. Um, it's looking absolutely stunning. Uh, you know, the last time I was in, in Nassau, we had about three or four uh, cruise liners that arrived and the atmosphere on the harbour front, you know, the straw market was fantastic. All the restaurants were buzzing. It's a really, really nice atmosphere uh, to be part of. So. Um, and it's, of course, your cruise passengers coming off uh, will have easy access to everything and excursions, things like diving, you know, going across to Paradise Island to the water parks. We, by the way, have three water parks um, and you'll discover that in a minute. So plenty for everybody to do in, um, in Nassau. Heading across to um, uh, Paradise Island, we've got, of course, our... Um, uh, Atlantis con uh, complex, you've then got um, a couple of our other um, member properties, the Comfort Suite, you've got Sunrise Beach Club, uh, the Ocean Club and, and Paradise Island um, uh, Beach Club as well. So heading on to Atlantis Paradise Island, I'm going to run through this very quickly just to give you an indication of where all the hotels are. So you've got the Cove, which is the high-end luxury hotel, the Reef, which is an apartment concept. It's home away from home. You've got the Royal. It is the original Atlantis, uh, of course. And then you've got this amazing Equaventure uh, water park. You've got Coral. And then what used to be the beach is now going to be somewhere else. And I'll cover that in a minute. So the reef. So it's a 497 residential style studio suites and penthouses. Think about the maybe the young families who want access to um, maybe a little kitchenette. You can see in the room where the kitchenette is. It's very convenient. It's, um, in my opinion, uh, has got the best views of uh, um, the coast. Um, and, and it's a really, if you wanted to dine in your room, you have the option to dine in your room, or you can go down to the restaurant and you can enjoy uh, the facilities of, um, uh, you know, the hotel. The Cove, absolutely beautiful, 600 ocean view and superior ocean suites, including four uh, superior luxury suites. Uh, this is your um, high-end product. You've got that beautiful um, beach. You can see the picture at the top. That's exclusive to the Cove. Um, and, you know, of course, you, it's ultra luxury. So think about all the comfort. Think about all the facilities. You have it all here. Plus, of course, it's private um, pools. The coral is more your leading. So you've got uh, um, really it was refurbished in 2018 and the rooms are looking very beautiful, very, uh, very uh, neutral colored and the same thing with the Royal. It's, uh, you know, majority of the rooms are now refurbished, it's looking absolutely stunning. So what do you have included or access to while you stay at uh, Atlantis? You've got, of course, the largest open air marine habitat in the world. Uh, you've got, you know, um, activities alike, for example, the Equaventure uh, Water Park is included. Um, you know, there are, you know, conservation projects going on. You've got the, the 14 lagoons that you can interact with uh, a marine life. So plenty to keep you occupied. And of course, there is a casino there. And the, uh, the marina has got uh, lots of restaurants. It's got um, uh, usually artisans coming, you know, every so often. So there's markets. There you've got uh, entertainment, so plenty happening just in that area. One of the top tips for your budget conscious clients is that if they stayed at Comfort Suites, they have access to Equaventure and they can have, um, uh, they can bill back to, or they can sign their check back to Comfort Suites. So you don't have to necessarily have the budget to stay at Atlantis to have access to all its facilities. Recommend Comfort Suites. It's actually one of the few hotels in Nassau, a Paradise Island that offers bed and breakfast. 
It's fantastic in terms of the room because you can accommodate up to five adults. So, um, you know, again, it's um, it's uh, um, a very good uh, option for family uh, families or friends traveling together. And the, the price point is really attractive. Moving on to the Ocean Club, of course, uh, the Bahamas has always been the playground for off rich and famous. Um, you can't think about them without thinking about the Ocean Club. Um, this is where our royals have stayed. You know, James Bond movies have been shot. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. It is very opulent, yet a very, um, um, you know, feel at home type of hotel. Um, just to give you some pictures, I mean, the, the gardens themselves, if you've got anybody here doing any uh, weddings or honeymoons, the gardens are absolutely beautiful for, uh, for, for weddings. They've got the cloisters, they've got the um, um, beautiful pool where you can take pictures. Um, Sarah has popped up, giving me the cue to hurry up. So I'm gonna quickly whiz through. There is just uh, one, um, product that I want to cover, which is the Bayview Suite. Again, it's a leading category. It's a small uh, 25 units hotel. Um, so if you've got clients who are looking to actually stay at a local hotel, experience a local life, then this is a good one. And that's finally my uh, little um, QR code. We have a um, brochure, a virtual brochure. So if you grab this uh, QR code, you should be able to download um, a brochure with all our hotels. And then to sign up to NASA Rewards Program, um, you, it's nasarewards.com. That's it from me. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you, Sangeeta, and sorry for putting you off. Every single time I pop up on the screen, everybody gets put off. So we, I apologize for that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we do have a couple of questions that have come in. Um, Jade, this one's for you. Um, you did cover it already, but I think um, Ushma had put it in earlier. Is there a minimum age? Yes, it's 21 plus at both Temptation results. Super. Irene, is it easy to hire a car in Grand Cayman or is public transport easily available? Um, actually, renting a car is probably the best way to discover the islands. Um, we also have public transport. We have quite a decent uh, bus routes around Grand Cayman, not in the two smaller islands, but actually we do recommend actually renting a car. Uh, as I said, driving around is very easy and you can discover and explore the island at your own pace. So yes, you can rent a car. Probably. Super, thank you very much. Um, oh, this is a good one. What's your favourite hotel, Irene? Oh, uh, that's a very difficult question. I think I can't choose one. Uh, it depends what you're looking for. I mean, there are, let's say, bigger hotels that are absolutely amazing, let's say, like big brands. Then there are smaller ones. There's a one that I find very cute that is Palm Heights, that is, you know, more intimate, uh, more boutique. Uh, but then again, you know, the big ones like, I don't know, Kington, and then you have uh, the, the villas. And I mean, I can't choose really. It, it depends what you're looking for. Okay, super. Thank you. Um, Irene, when is the best time to travel to the Cayman Islands? Uh, as the whole Caribbean, I'd say it's, a, it's mainly a, a all year round destination, but it's true that throughout the winter, our winter in, 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 in the UK, in Europe, uh, uh, well, you, ha you have probably less humidity than in, in summer, but I mean, you could travel in time. Okay, super. Um, Irene, Valerie has asked, um, is, is the reef close to Seven Mile Beach or do people need to get a boat? So it's not too far, but actually near, Georgetown more than seven miles. There are areas where you can actually just jump <laughs> to the water and, and, and if you can actually some divers or uh, people that are learning to dive start practicing there at times. Uh, so you can definitely start diving already there in some areas. Uh, but in the seven mile beach area, it's more like snorkeling by the beach. And then if you want to properly dive, you have to probably take a, a boat a bit farther away, but not too far. Okay, super. Um, Debbie's asked, which suppliers can we book these through? It's for Cayman as well, yeah? Yes. 
Yes, so well, we have ITC, uh, we have Carry Tours, Travel Pack, Luso. I mean, from top of my head, this, <laughs> there are others, but there's some examples I can give you right now. Okay, super. Um, Sangeeta, has Margaritaville been recently renovated? It is a new hotel. It opened up uh, two years ago. Okay, super. And do you have any news about the Malia Nassau reopening? And not yet. We were expecting to open. It, we were expecting it to open in 2023. So if they keep an eye out on um, uh, NASA Rewards uh, portal, if there is any further news, we will put it in there. Right now, Super. yeah. The holding statement is 2023. And um, Sangeeta, do you have any all-inclusive hotels apart from Sandals? No, because. Um, NASA is not really, you don't get that many all-inclusive hotels. So within our portfolio, you know, Melia was uh, sort of more the family one and then Sandals was the couples only. But um, there are others. Uh, Warwick is one of, it's not our member property, but Warwick is is a, a, a good all-inclusive. Okay, super. I think that's the end of the questions. I think we've grilled you enough. Um, okay, so now we get to the part where we see who's been listening. So just as a reminder, every single person on this webinar today gets entered into the prize draw. If you answer one of these questions correctly, you get 10 entries. So um, if everybody can go to chat and make sure that your drop down says everyone, I'm gonna ask our lovely ladies here to ask a question. So Jade, your question yeah. first. Okay. Please. So I mentioned that both resorts have themed nights and I would like two of the themed night categories as the answer, please, across any of the resorts, so any of the two themed nights. Okay. That's Love coming in fast. I need to just check coming. the thing on. <laughs> fast and furious. Okay, so the first person is said glitter and jungle. So is that correct? No, it's Wild Safari. So that one isn't correct. So I think okay. Carol was Foam and Crazy. Call. Yeah, so Foam um, and Crazy Circus is correct. Yeah. Okay, super. Carol, you're on the ball. Well done, Carol. <laughs> and lots and lots of correct answers. I can see them all. Um, yes. Scrolling <laughs> down. <laughs> Excellent. Irene. Okay, uh, I think it's quite an easy one. Um, what's the name of this attraction where you can meet plenty of wild but very friendly stingrays? Okay, so Peter was typing before you'd even finished. You just, <laughs> you, you just said um, attraction. Um, he said Stingray City. Would that be the yes, correct answer? That's correct, yes. <laughs> right. So, Peter, your name has been written down. And last but not least, we've got Sangeeta. So, um, we are a, a very accessible destination, but we're super excited about how many direct flights and from when as of December. Oh, this is a double one. Okay. 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 So Alex has said 10 and London. Is that yeah, correct? That's good. Yeah. Okay. Well done, Alex. Thank you for listening yeah. carefully. <laughs> Super, super. So lots and lots of correct answers there as well. Um, ladies, a big thank you. Your presentations were super. We love you. Um, you can log all of the bookings on my booking rewards, even Irene with um, the Cayman Islands, because you can log on to the My Caribbean Rewards. Um, a big thank you to everybody for joining us this week. We've got the luxury webinar next week, so please do join us. Um, and thank you very much for your time and thank you for your awesome presentations. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thanks, everybody. See you all soon. Bye. Bye, Bye Irene. Bye. Bye. Bye.